break up with your boyfriend, or girlfriend, or not my name. You may ask, why would I do that, Lauren? I'm happy with my relationship. But are you really? OK, OK. Let me take a step back for a second, or a step forward. My name is Lauren Voorhees, and I was abused by my mother throughout my childhood. I experienced mental and psychological torture due to her abuse. And I escaped this through my, her death. I had to cope with the death of my abusers, who was supposed to be a loving, caring figure. From this experience, I have insight on what toxic relationships look like. I see many of my fellow peers in them. Sign number one that you're in a toxic relationship. You're always clinging to them. There are many couples I see in the hallway that are attached to the hip. They're either sucking face or pulling close. They only talk to each other. I'm not sure if they actually have other friends. They, even if they're in class or at a party, they continue to talk and speak with each other, and only each other. Talking to, this distracts them from everyday life, experiencing new people and new opportunities. It's only talking to one person is not a good way to live your life. But Lauren, I love talking to my partner. I'm okay with being isolated. <laughs> Sign number two, emotional abuse. There are many people that I see in abusive relationships, but don't even know it because my partner doesn't hit me. But listen up, folks. There are other ways to be in abusive relationships. One thing I often see are partners who try to control each other. What they wear, who they see, what their friends are. This is not healthy. That's not a partner who loves and cares about you. That is a partner who's manipulative. Along the lines of that, another thing I often see are partners who blame things that are their fault on you. For example, it would be your fault if they cheated, as you can please them sexually. Or it'd be your fault that they're angry, as you can text them back when you're taking a test. That's not healthy. And along the lines, another thing I often see and experience myself is what I call the guilt card. The guilt card is happens when someone guilt trips you into doing something that they want. For example, if you really loved me, you wouldn't be friends with so-and-so. Or if you really cared about me, you would stay with me tonight instead of going out with your friends. This is not healthy. But Lauren, I, I see my partner's abuse as caring. Give me another sign I'm in a toxic relationship. Okay, sign number three, sexual abuse. This one's pretty simple. If it's unwanted or unconsented, it should not happen. You, you should never pressure your partner into doing something that they are uncomfortable with. Take a look at your relationship. Think about the things that you do. Think about the things that your partner does. Make sure your relationship isn't abusive. It's better to be happy and single than to be alone and in a troubled relationship. Now that I'm single, I am happier than I ever was in a relationship. I have so many more friends that fill me up with platonic love. I'm more willing to go out there and meet new people and experience new opportunities. I'm content being alone. And when I find a relationship again, I want to take stuff I learned from my past and bring it into my future. If they are abusive, you should break up with your boyfriend, or girlfriend, or non-binary partner. <laughs>